Hi scholars! In this video, we are going to be learning about character traits. That's right! You may have heard this word before, but you may not really know what it means. Well, character traits are ways that we can describe the inside of a person. So, not the outside, not what people look like, but based on people's actions or their behaviors, we can make um, opinions about what the inside of them are like. And here are some examples. Maybe we would say they're friendly. Maybe we would say they're funny. Maybe they're generous or giving. Maybe they're hardworking. Maybe over here we've got bossy or brave or bright, which means smart. Maybe they're calm. Maybe they're cautious and careful. So based on our observations of them, or in this case, based on what we read about them in the text, we can give them um, some words to describe them. So we're going to be doing that, and then we're also going to be providing evidence from what we read to back up why we think the characters are those traits. And I'm going to show you how to do that. The first step, though, is for us to actually read the text. We're going to be reading the bus, so follow along with me. I am focusing on Trisha, and I am focusing on um, her character traits. Trisha always sits next to her best friend, Christina, on the school bus. They would talk about how annoying their brothers are or how long it took them to complete their math homework. One day, as Trisha was getting on the bus, she saw Christina push another girl. That's my seat. Everyone knows that, Christina yelled as she threw the girl's lunchbox across the bus. Hey, you shouldn't push and throw things, Trisha scolded. She took our seat. Whose friend are you anyway? Christina asked. Trisha walked past Christina. She helped to pick up the contents of the lunchbox. Are you new? Do you want to sit with me? Trisha asked. Christina watched in shock. Okay, so I am focusing on Trisha. So just like you'll do in the practice, you don't need any um, papers right now, but I'm going to show you how to do the graphic organizer that you'll be doing in the practice and the exit ticket. The first step is to put the character's name. So as I just told y'all and as we just read, I'm doing Trisha. Is it Trish or Trisha? It's Trisha. Okay, and now I'm going to look at my little list of character traits. You're gonna get a copy of this too. And I need to pick three that I think I can back up with the, in the text. So one that I already saw on the list, I think that Trisha is brave because she stood up to her friend. A second one that I saw on here that I think describes um, Trisha is helpful because she helped picked up she helped pick up the things that um, Christina knocked over or the girl's lunchbox and then the last one is she's kind-hearted and I say that because she invited the new girl to sit with her at lunch. So as you notice, I picked these and I said because and I listed the reasons in the text that made me think that. So now I need to go back and in the text evidence boxes, I'm going to put put the information from the text that helped me think that. So the reason I thought she was brave, let me pull up my text, is because she stands up to Christina um, when she yells and throw things. So I'm gonna put Trisha stands up to Christina. I'm even gonna add the detail, even though that's her friend. Because sometimes it can be hardest for us to tell our friends when they, when they did something wrong. Okay, my second piece of evidence. How was Trisha helpful? Well, I thought Trisha was helpful because Trisha picked up um, the new girl's lunch box. Okay. And then I think she was kind hearted because she invited the new girl to sit with her on the bus. So Trisha invited the new girl to sit with her on the bus. And that's why I think she's kind. And then lastly, I get to 
And of course, I'm typing these. You would be writing them into your organizer. I get to answer the question, based on what you know, would you want to be friends with this character? I think, yes, I would want to be friends with Trisha. So I'm going to circle yes. You would circle whatever your opinion was. And then I'm all done. So when you're done with your practice, you'll let me check your, check your work. Same with your exit ticket. Now going back to the list, if there are some that you don't know, I would encourage you to Google it or ask Siri or ask me or maybe ask a neighbor. Um, th this is definitely a chance for us to learn some new words for how we can describe others. You are ready to move on to the practice. I can't wait to see your great work.